Well, hi, Um, viewers. This is such a special session today. I'm actually joined remotely by my friend Rakia, who's just a rock star. So she's our uh, Internet of Things guru, my geek girl, my buddy, and uh, just unbelievable. She's uh, actually never met a stranger. Uh, And every time I'm out in the field with her meeting with our customers, it's so obvious she's so ingrained in their business. So I wanted to talk today uh, because uh, she's one of the folks that I mentor and sponsor. And I wanted to just see how she was doing, do a quick check-in, and then we'll keep bringing her back so that you can see how she's doing on her journey. So how you doing, buddy? I'm totally wonderful. Thank you for having me today and taking the time out of your schedule, Janet. I really appreciate it. Oh, always. So I know we're going to jump right into it because our viewers are just really into that. So um, talk a little bit about what do you need help with? How can I help? What's going on with you? Well, Janet, as you know, um, you've, you've mentored me for the last six to eight months on building my social network brand, you know, trying to maximize that to in, increase you know, my credibility among my customers and also use it to, you know, allow my customers to help me sell to new customers. So I think, you know, I still need assistance with that because I'm kind of finding it challenging having, you know, the job, the family, and then now I've added an additional leg and that's to create a a social brand. So sometimes, you know, I I don't know how to do that sometimes with timing. You know, can you help me with that? I sure can. And and viewers, I know you've all asked the same thing. Somebody recently said to me, that looks like a full-time job. How are you doing it? And it's like anything else, it comes down to planning. So for those of you who have raised kids, and I know you're raising children right now, a lot of uh, getting your day done is having a good plan. When you race around and have to think about things, it doesn't work. And so I'm going to start the mentoring a little unnaturally and tell you a little quick story. So uh, there's a group called the Afterburner and they talk about uh, pilots and successful pilots and what they do. And one of the really cool things is they do this presentation and they show a pilot who's been flying for 30 years take off a plane without a checklist. And it takes the pilot about 28 minutes to take off the plane without the checklist. A competent, he knows what he's doing, but he has to think through it. Then they give the pilot the checklist of everything he has to do, and he takes off in two minutes and 38 seconds. So the difference in you know that is 28 uh, or so minutes that he saved just because he followed a checklist. So my first piece of advice for you is, have you sat down and have you said, okay, these are the things that are important to me. These are my purposes. And just take a half an hour once a week to plan one post a day on LinkedIn, one or two posts a day on Twitter, and set them up either in Hootsuite or if it's just Twitter on TweetDeck so that you don't have to think of content as you go through your day or your week. Have you done that? You know what? No, I have to admit, Janet, it sounds so easy. I mean, I know you do it and you do it seamlessly (laughs) because I'm always watching and I'm like, how did she do it? Um, but I haven't tried that, and I think, you know what, I'm going to give that a try because if you put some structure to it, then you're not, like, stressed with it because, like, I know that you told me in the past you need to say something every day that builds on what you believe in and what you are, you know, trying to give to others and how to help others. Yeah. And, you know, I find it that I get at the end of the night and I'm stressed <laughs> out because I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to just post something meaning- meaningless. I want to post something that matters. So I'm going to try that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on my to-do list tomorrow. <laughs> Just do a week at a time, and I will tell you, I know you're stressed out by it, but I am so impressed because I'm seeing – super connectors like John Nasta, who's, you know, all but famous with Google Health and and Nasta Labs, not only connecting with you by following you, but he's actually engaging you and reposting things and commenting. And, you know, what a testimony that is to the journey you're on to have somebody that senior and that impressive uh, be on that journey with you. And I think that's that's a great segue to the next question. How do I help you get more connections uh, out there so that you continue to hit your goals for your social media branding? Um, Well, that's, you know, I appreciate you always being so helpful. And, you know, for me, I think one thing that I know you started doing, which was our last meeting, was the follow, you know, the Friday follow or follow Fridays. I think that definitely has increased um, my visibility. Uh, My numbers have increased, honestly, since I started this whole marketing branding um, over the last actually 30 days, um, it has grown actually at a rate of 45 percent. Um, so yeah, so it's it's awesome. And you know, I think that another good thing maybe um, that you could do is possibly just keep doing what you're doing. I think the Follow Friday works. 
um, I was trying to think of something more creative and I thought maybe, you know, we could maybe post something that has a video or maybe you can give me some suggestions of what kind of videos or do, do people like on, on Twitter specific, specifically? That's a great question. And obviously this video will be a big hit, uh, viewers. So we expect you to share this with your whole social media network when we launch it so that, you know, we can continue our branding journey. So I think I'm seeing three things that people like. And I was actually thinking about you today and thinking, you know, you're so good at using uh, Google Hangout and FaceTime and everything else that maybe you could start a little, um, you know, 30 second or so video just sharing with us a little bit about what you're doing in your technology travels. So you've shared with me some of the things you're doing out in the field. And of course, you don't want to ever violate a customer's trust or faith or share something. And I know you never would do that. But for everybody listening, as well as you, little videos or pictures that you either put on Twitter, or Instagram, or even, you know, Facebook, if that's where your bigger following is, um, they really do help people kind of uh, attach to you. And I, I couldn't help but notice how you use technology to balance work-life balance with your family. And so I think one of the videos I've seen that have been really, you know, fun from you have been little snippets of you with your kids traveling and you with, you know, 9,000 devices. Um, and maybe it would make sense to start to look to share videos of how people are using mobile technology. I know there's some good ones Verizon has, but I'm sure there's some good ones you could catch fun stuff when you're in the airport of people, you know, uh, FaceTiming with their kids. Uh, people like to see the technology in use. Well, that's a good idea because, you know, I, it just dawned on me. I was visiting the Minneapolis airport recently, and that airport is so innovative. I mean, they have tablets everywhere. I know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was so surprised, and I told a couple of customers about it, and actually just telling a customer about it um, actually made them think of a project of how they could have it everywhere in their facility. So, you know what, I, I, I'm going to take that as definitely an actionable item because if I would have videoed my, you know, experience in that airport and, you know, so people could get a visual, I mean, just think of, you know, all the things that it could have done. I know, and it, and I think it also helps because you're so, so credible and so genuine when you get you on video. Some people are very awkward, so it's not a good... And by the way, it's okay to be awkward. You know, I always say I'm of average intelligence. I don't try to be a scientist, right? So it's okay. So, you know, you're so credible in video. It's just a great, great thing for you to do. And I think what, you know, one of the things I would do is it could be actually fun where you could actually encourage people to, to interact with you. So one of the things I've noticed is obviously, and Lauren, uh, who is my reverse mentor, tells me all the time, people have to engage with you. If they're just liking or retweeting or uh, sharing on, fa on LinkedIn, it's not enough. You could start to ask people to send you pictures or videos to share um, of where they see mobility and some of the cooler uses of mobility. It would be a really fun way to engage people in some of the crazy, uh, good and bad uses you see for mobility out in the marketplace. I like that, Janet. That's a good one. You know, you you're always so creative. Like we coming up with stuff, and Lauren, she's just so she's just so innovative as well. And I'm I'm just so proud to be attached to you, ladies. Um, and um, I'm definitely gonna give that. A, I'm gonna give that a try. Awesome. Well, hey. Um, I figure I know our both of our days are busy and we've only got another minute or two here. So, any other final questions for me on the social media branding journey you're on? Um, you know, one other question, Janet, that that bothers me is I often notice that when people start following you, especially on Twitter, I mean, like my LinkedIn is pretty strong. I mean, I don't really have to do much on there; it speaks for itself. Yeah. But on the Twitter side, since that's my, you know, the latest platform that I've joined. I noticed that when people join you um, or follow you, is it always um, good etiquette to follow them back? I mean, sometimes, you know, it's almost like I'm watching my numbers. And, of course, I kind of want to, you know, more people to follow me than I follow them. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but... What are your thoughts on that? So I think it is. I think you should have some following that you don't have to pay for by following back. Um, and so I use a three-point rule that I was taught, actually, uh, by Lauren. So the first is, is it somebody I would sit down and have a cup of coffee with? If it is, then I want to follow them back and I want to engage with them. Um, two, is it somebody who's sharing or engaging in content that I want to really be engaged in, that I want, that I think I'm getting value either by listening to them or engaging with them? And then the third, and this is one I tend to look at when I have time, and when I don't, I use a tool for it, which is how often do they tweet and share content? Because a lot of people that follow you end up just being these people who 
are tweeting, retweeting, and following people hoping to get followers. And they're not adding any value to my network. And so I don't want to clutter up my, my network with people that aren't adding value. And so I actually use um, a tool on my iPad called Unfollow. And it basically has four functions. So it shows you who you're following that isn't following you, which you may or may not want to keep following them. It shows who you're following, um, I'm sorry, who's following you, who does, you don't follow back, who you're following that doesn't follow you back, who unfollowed you, because there is a lot of bait in uh, Twitter with people following you, knowing you'll follow them back, and then unfollowing. And then finally, how long has it been since they've tweeted original contact? And you can actually uh, sort that. 30 days, a month, three months, six months. And I find it doesn't make sense to follow somebody back who isn't putting good content in because I, I, that's it's like talking to a crowd with the lights off. It doesn't really make any sense. So uh, I hope that helps, and uh, I'll send you the link to that tool because I find that tool to be my daily morning coffee check-in uh, to make sure my followers are engaging. That's awesome. Thank you. That is exactly what I need because I've been struggling with that a little bit, and I do notice people will unfollow you if you don't follow them. And you know, I mean, that's just like a game and I don't, I don't do it for the purpose of a game. I do it for the purpose of building a network and learning, like you said. That's amazing. Well, hey, thank you. I can't wait to talk to you again next month. Um, and yeah. as always, just reach out to me, DM me, Facebook, whatever you want to do. I'm always here for you. You know that. And I'm super proud of what you're doing. Thank you so much, Janet. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, viewers. We'll see you again soon. Bye.